Hello, everybody, and welcome to Educational Psychology, the best class ever. I'm not even kidding you. This class is so fundamental to everything you're ever going to do as a teacher, and I'm so excited for you to get the chance to take it. My name is Dr. Cox. I originally designed this course for you, um, and due to scheduling conflicts and life and me part-time moonlighting at uh, Lake Ridge Junior High as a teacher, I don't have time to teach you and I'm so sad. But I found the greatest guy in the whole world to teach you. His name is Mr. Eric Bayless. He is a psychology teacher over at Pleasant Grove High School. And the reason I'm so excited for you to have Eric is that he knows teenagers. He understands them, what they're like right now because he teaches them every single day. Uh, he also really gets psychology. He teaches uh, regular and AP and sports psychology uh, in high schools right now. So you're going to get a spectacular, very relevant, very fresh perspective on all of the stuff you're learning in this class. So you really are lucky to get this opportunity to work with him. I wanted to take just a minute to give you a little tour of the course. Mr. Bayless is just getting started on his high school classes, so I'm giving him a bit of a reprieve and stepping in for a minute here. I wanted to give you this introduction because sometimes it can be a little strange, I guess, adjusting to taking an online course and you don't necessarily know where to begin or what the expectations are. So I'm going to show you around a little bit. You can see cute Mr. Bayless. I shouldn't call him cute. Very professional and wonderful Mr. Bayless right here. He's going to be fantastic for you guys. So here's your little splash page. If there are any announcements or any assignments coming up or anything, they'll appear over here on the right where it says recent feedback, okay? All right, the main area where you wanna spend your time is over here where it says modules, okay? There are assignment lists, discussion boards, quizzes, all of that good stuff in this class as well, but the modules area is where you want to begin. So I'm gonna pop us over there. I'm sure it's gonna move quickly. Wow, it actually did. All right, so let's take a look at what you're gonna do this week, okay? So in order to get comfortable with, familiar with the course, uh, Mr. Bayless is just asking you this week to go through the course orientation. That's basically the syllabus, right? So you get to know the um, overview of the course, what the objectives are and all that good stuff. There's a lovely letter from our beloved president here welcoming you to, welcoming you to online education. The course orientation really gets you into the course policies and everything like that. And then if you click on instructor information, that'll give you Mr. Bayless's bio uh, as well as his contact information, okay? So you can go through, I encourage you strongly to go through and read all of this information so that you know that you're working the way that you should, that you're progressing through things, that you understand the course requirements. I just wanted to let you know too, since Mr. Bayless, wow, there's an error there, I'll fix it. Since Mr. Bayless uh, is at the high school most of the time, if you guys do have an emergency or need something uh, right away, I'm generally on campus. So my information's in here too, if you ever need to come in and find me, okay? All right, so there's your instructor information. We pop back out to the modules here. Uh, you'll see a little bit more about getting started. We also have an anticipated course schedule here. Please take a look at that. What we're trying to emphasize to you uh, is that since you're participating in an online, uh, what we call a synchronous class, meaning that we're all taking the class at the same time, right? All during the same semester. We have actually provided dates for you. We're going to go about a lesson per week. So try to keep that on your radar. Um, generally, we'll start a, a lesson on a Tuesday and we'll end it on a Monday so that you have you know, the weekend and then the rest of the day on Monday if you need it to get any assignments done, okay? So as you look through here, you can see we're gonna do the course orientation in lesson zero, which I'll tell you about this week. Next week, we're gonna be a little strange and jump into lesson 12. And the, the expectation will be kind of outlined for you. And I'll show you that a little bit too. So this would be a good document to kind of download and make sure uh, you've got access to. All right, going back to modules. You'll notice at the end of each lesson that we have here, you also have a little course orientation, or excuse me, a, a Q&A discussion board. So if you, yeah, if you have any questions for Mr. Bayless or for your peers, 
this is where you would post those, okay? That's a really good place to do that. You can, of course, contact Mr. Bayless anytime via email as well. All right, the second lesson that you need to go through this week, so there's that little short course orientation. Second lesson here is lesson zero. Uh, Ed Psych is a service learning class that is so important uh, to your success in understanding the course content. Ed Psych can be really theoretical if you let it be. And then, you know, every once in a while a teacher walks away from this class saying, I don't get it. Why did we have to take that? Again, as I said in my main intro, this is to me the most pivotal course because what this course will give you is an understanding of who teenagers are what their needs are in your classroom, what they're going through developmentally and socially, um, as well as how people learn. So this class is kind of the why behind everything else that you do. Why would you plan a lesson a certain way? Why would you do classroom management a certain way? This class helps to answer those questions. But if we're just studying theories and never applying it to real classrooms, it just doesn't, it doesn't stick, right? So go to lesson zero and you can learn about the field work we're asking you to do. And if you are in curriculum and instruction, which is EDSC 4550, at the same time, which we strongly encourage you to do, take Ed Psych with curriculum and instruction. We've designed them to go together. If you do that, you can overlap your service learning, your field work between the two classes, okay? All right, so lesson zero, go through it every lesson from zero on is gonna be built in a really similar fashion. So you start off, there's an introduction page that kind of gives you an overview of what the expectation for that unit are going to be. Then you click next and you just step through each of the lessons, okay? So this will introduce you to service learning and what that is. And then there's some documentation you're gonna need in here. There's a request letter and approval form to get you started with your field work, okay? There are lists of char charter and private schools if that's a route that you want to take. And then there's a tracking form that you'll need to keep as you go through your field experience so we know how many hours you got, you need to have at least 20, and an evaluation form, okay? Click on next and it'll start to explain to you our two key assignments for the class. One of them is what we call the tipper, the theory into practice response paper, just call it tipper. Um, this, while you're volunteering in this field experience classroom, uh, you'll be doing observations and answering questions about how the things we're learning about are actually being used right now in real classrooms. So it really takes it out of the theory realm and into the practice realm, which is where we want to be, right? Nobody wants a pure theory class. So these pages will walk you through the requirements for those assignments. Of course, we'll revisit them, but we wanted to give you a heads up. Also, as part of your field experience, you will be teaching a mini lesson. Some teachers have you teach the whole lesson and that's great, uh, but we're only requiring like a 15 to 20 minute lesson. So there are requirements here for how that's supposed to go and uh, how you write it up in the end, okay? The other key assignment we're gonna be doing, we'll talk more about in lesson 12 because it has to do with assessment. Uh, assessment and psychology really go hand in hand, especially in today's school system, because if we look at the quality of assessments being delivered, if we look at the anxiety those assessments are causing kids, um, and if we look at the level of thinking the assessments require, we know there are some issues there. And those are all things we study in this class, right? Developmental levels, how to reduce anxiety and facilitate performance and higher order thinking, stuff like that. We're going to learn about that. And so we want to help you by having you create some assessments in this class. And we're going to explore eight different forms of assessment. You can do this in a group. Uh, and again, we'll talk about this more as the semester goes on. All right, so I'm going to hop back out to the modules area just, just so you don't have to see me scrolling through every page ad nauseum. Okay. Every lesson will also have a conclusion page. That'll just kind of sum things up for you. Okay. All right. And then this particular module has a quiz at the end of it. And a lot of your modules will because we just want to double check, make sure since we don't get to see you face to face, we want to give you a chance to show us that you're mastering the content. So in this case, there's this course orientation and lesson zero quiz. We just want to check, make sure you understand what the course policies are, what the field experience requirements are, that kind of stuff. Okay. 
There is, of course, a Q&A here. So if you have any questions at all about the field work, about the key assignments, post those here. And the great thing about this quiz is you get to take it once, and then it tells you the correct answers, and then you get to take it again. So if you fail this, we're worried about you, okay? All right, so that documentation I mentioned is all out here again in case you need it. That's what you need to do this week. All right, now I wanted to show you with a somewhat normal lesson how you actually go through the class. We've provided some resources for you to help you through everything. Number one, go get the textbook, rent it, get a digital copy, we don't care. Um, but you do need to have the current edition of the text that's outlined in the course orientation. It's gonna be important for you because we haven't explained every single concept in detail here. And also the textbook gives you some great examples and some nice little guidelines and boxes and things like that that aren't gonna appear in these lessons, okay? All right, so when you come into a normal content lesson, Again, that first page is gonna tell you what the objectives are for the week. They'll also tell you what activities we're gonna be participating in. Preview this on Monday or Tuesday of each week so you get a feel for how much time you're gonna to have to devote to the lessons. These lessons don't work very well if you just sit down and cram them out on Monday at 11. It's not gonna work. So really think about breaking it up, taking it a little bit at a time, okay? All right, now if I go to the next page, this is often what you'll see uh, within your lessons. So we'll give you a quick introduction and then it gets you into the readings. Now, I've, excuse me, we have always provided for you a study guide if you want to use that. If you click on that, it'll download a Word document that has a list of key vocabulary and some kind of application-based questions that are gonna help you focus your study. It's going to be really important for you to walk away from this class with really good notes or really good study guides, so that's why we've provided these for you. The reason for that is one of your licensure exams, and we'll talk about it in Lesson 12, is heavily based on this class. So you're going to want some materials you can take away with you. So we've provided these for you to help you out with that. Download them, fill them out as part of your notes if that works for you. If you have a note-taking method you prefer, by all means do that. Uh, but you're welcome to use these study guides to kind of help you out. All right, it'll tell you what to read. Uh, we've got lots of video presentations, videos from YouTube, examples, blah, 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 in here, okay? We're gonna have brain connections too. We are passionate about the brain and how it connects to how our students learn and what's going on with them. So that's always gonna be in here. And when we get to lesson one, it's all about the brain. Okay. You also have these nice little sample test questions often built in or uh, interactive activities or whatever. So you can do those here within Canvas or you can open those in a new window. All right, so I'm finishing page two. I'm just going to go to page three. Again, make sure you just go through the materials in sequence and you're going to do awesome on this, okay? All right, so there's more information here, more videos. Anytime you see this icon, that's a reading, so you stop and do that reading. Go next. More stuff. Click next. I'm doing this on purpose so you see the progression that you should really follow, okay? More videos, more links, more good stuff. All right, now as we get to the end of a module or a lesson, I'm gonna pop back and show you that really fast. Previous, okay. So when you get to the end of a lesson, you'll often see one of these check marks. That indicates that there's an assignment that's either required or that you could do. So if you've already started your field work next week, you might wanna answer one of the tipper questions. That's that key assignment I, I uh, indicated earlier. So you might wanna do that. I've, we've listed those for you here so that you always know which tipper questions go with what we're learning about. It doesn't mean you have to answer this right now, but it's a good idea to do so just to have it done, right? Uh, so you'll always have reminders in the lessons. Okay, here's the tipper question that goes along with this week's lesson. All right, now normally when you get to the conclusion page, which is the next page in this lesson, there will be some sample test questions here. 
the sample test questions appeared earlier in this lesson, so that's why they're not here right now, okay? But generally, on that last page, you're going to find some sample test questions. Then, the last page of the module, I'm going to pop back out to modules so you can see. Last page of the module after the conclusion is going to be that mastery quiz. So it's usually just a few questions. You can see this one's only five points uh, that makes sure you get the content uh, so that we're all on the same page, ready for the little bit larger unit quizzes, ready for the final exam, ready for your licensure exam. Once again, there's always a Q&A here. So if you have any questions during that module, let us know. Um, and then if you want to give us feedback about how good you thought that lesson was, by all means do that here. The study guides will also always appear out here in the module material so you can find them as needed. Okay, so that's generally what you want to do. About one lesson a week, but check your schedule so you know sometimes we take more time. Um, follow the lesson materials page by page. Definitely take some form of notes or use the study guides take the mastery quizzes, do the sample test questions to make sure you're ready for those kinds of things, and always feel free to ask Mr. Bayless questions. All right, I think that about finishes our tutorial. Uh, any further questions, please direct those to Mr. Bayless. Again, he is just plain awesome. Uh, so I think you guys are gonna have a great time this semester, and uh, I wish you the best. Best class, great content. I don't know how you could teach without it. So have a ball, my friends.